Hi, this is a video where I demonstrate how I calculate time to kills on a bow. There are a couple things I want to say before I go ahead and show it exactly how. And first off, I would like to talk about what actually counts as a time to kill. I am of the opinion that time to kill starts at reload. How exactly? After the initial shot. Why do I count it like this? Because having to draw a bow takes time. The base draw time on the fastest possible precision bow is 533 milliseconds. And 533 milliseconds isn't very competitive, especially against the top tier meta currently. And SMGs in general. Take for example, the new SMG with target lock. The fastest time to kill is 058 seconds or 0 0.67 seconds, which is precisely 0 0.14 seconds difference. That's the amount of time you have to draw the next shot. Obviously that's not possible. So if you find yourself in a situation where someone's shooting at you and you have to draw the bow, you're already dead. In the perfect gunfight, your bow is already drawn and ready to shoot. And it is ready to deal damage, in quotation marks, a hit scan state, and quotation marks. So nearly instantaneously. For the sake of testing this appropriately and being able to use the information that we find out, we are not going to count the initial draw time it takes for you to start damaging. Because it would cause confusion and you cannot have much control over the speed of the initial draw time anyway. It is much better to have the bow ready to damage and ready to fire at any point in a gunfight. Now getting to the time to kill that happens in between shots, the only time that you are able to build craft for, is split into three different sections. Reload, a delay, and then draw time. And then the cycle repeats. Reload, I thought was pretty simple. And for the sake of clarity, I'm gonna keep it simple. We've decided that reload is counted by the UI magazine, where it says one and turns to zero. The amount of time it takes for it to be zero is the reload. After reload, there is a knocking delay. It is a period of time that happens before draw time, but we'll get to that later. That is the second part that I wanted to talk about. And after the reload and a knocking delay comes draw time, which is easily measured by an indicator on the bow. It turns green when it reaches hit scan state, dealing full damage. This season, we also have a mod overload bow, which triggers precisely when you reach that hit scan state, which makes testing more easy. Thanks to compact arrow shaft, this bow has 50 reload. The reload cap is 80, not 100. We found this out by trying to reduce the reload time with a reload perks, such as impulse amplifier and surplus. Even when a perk has an animation multiplier, even with dragon shadow, a reload will always be capped at 500 milliseconds. Dragon shadow, impulse amplifier, and surplus times three will help you get to that cap. Whether it is an animation multiplier or a stat, the moment it reaches 500 milliseconds, it will not help you any further. So if you have a bow that has 80 reload, you do not need to invest in reload any further. Not with armor mods, not with an exotic buff, not with anything, it will not help you. And this gets me to the knocking delay. Some people say that the UI showing you that the magazine is zero is not reliable, and that might be true. However, the knocking delay that happens right after reload, that transitions into draw time, cannot be reduced by anything. It cannot be reduced by the animation multipliers, it cannot be reduced by stats or buffs. Nothing can touch the knocking delay. It's there, it is set in stone, and it is not part of draw time either, because draw time can be easily measured with an initial shot. It might be part of reload, but it doesn't matter because you cannot go past the 500 millisecond or the 80 reload cap anyway, no matter how hard you try. And lastly, after doing all of these tests, we have safely determined a few things. 10 reload is worth 33 milliseconds every single time you add reload or subtract reload. Keep in mind you are adding and subtracting from your TTK. Again, your objective is to reach 80 reload. 